What's going on? What's going on? Is that smile a little bigger today? A little bit. Just a little bit. And why is that? Because uh, I'm in front of you lovely people. <laughs> how, how did you find out? What was your reaction when you found out? How did I find out? Um, I found out when everybody else found out. The Seahawks tweeted. I checked my Twitter like, oh, finally made it. Nine years. Um, so it was cool, though. Uh, you know, got a lot of phone calls, got a lot of text messages. Uh, not responding back to everybody, so I'm sorry. But um, but no, it, it, was, it was cool to, to finally get the nod. Does it mean more now that players also have a share of the vote? Yes, I think I think I mean we're we're the ones playing, so we watch film on everybody. So I, I definitely think it's pretty cool to 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 get voted in by your peers because um, they they understand what's going on. They understand how hard it is to get sacks, how hard it is to to play at a high level. So um, I think you know it's pretty cool that that we finally get a, a say in something. Is it more meaningful at this point in your career? Yes, um, I mean there's been years where I felt like you know I had a chance of making or should have made it or whatnot. Um, but to make it at this point um, with so many great players on our team um, and to, to be able to get the recognition, I think it's pretty cool. I've seen a lot of your teammates, whether on social media or like Mike right now, just seem really happy for you to finally get there. Yeah. Just to, to hear that from your teammates, what does that mean? It's cool. It's, it's, it's awesome. Um, you know, Sherm and those guys, they've been, you know, kind of – Every for the last ten weeks, hey, hey, hey we're gonna try. I'm gonna push for you. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do that because um, you know they felt like I, I should have made it. You know, maybe last year or whatnot. So for them to to, to get behind me and to 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 feel like I, I'm one of the top DNs in the league, I mean, it's it's pretty cool because they're definitely the top at their position. So it's cool to be amongst the the greatness. <laughs> do you feel like there's anything less on your shoulders now now that you've been selected at the Pro Bowl? No, I mean, I still feel like we, I would rather be in uh, Houston than Orlando <laughs> when that time rolls around. Um, no, nah, I mean, it's just a cool accomplishment, you know, you got to keep chopping away though. We have a lot bigger uh, things we want to accomplish than just going to the Pro Bowl. What did you learn about the consistency it takes to keep doing things, whether you get the recognition or not? I mean, your career started in Detroit under different circumstances <laughs> yeah. than it is now, but you still had to put the same effort in the same work yet. Well, one, I need to keep my job. Um, so no matter what the circumstances are, you know, you got to go out there and grind it out. You got to, I mean, I still got to play for the, the name on the back of my jersey, you know. Um, so I still got to, regardless of 0-16 or Super Bowl, I got to go out there and perform to, one, keep my job, but two, you know, um, continue to represent for my family. Um, so that's a, that's a big part of it. And then just being here with all these guys and how close-knit we are, I mean, nobody wants to be the weakest link. That's the cool thing about this team. And I think that's why we're able to uh, win games from, um, you know, is nobody wants to be the weakest link. So everybody's striving to continue to keep getting better because nobody wants to get called out. Do you think you've been extra motivated at all with the work that you've been doing for Haiti this year? Extra motivated? I think I think it's a uh, it's like icing on on the cake. Honestly, um, you know, just being able to to be playing, you know, and getting sacks or whatnot, and being able to help and change lives while I'm playing the game. I think you know that's that's pretty cool stuff. Um, you know, I I mean, it's definitely motivation, but it's not like the first thing I'm, <laughs> when I get out there. I'm, I want to go out there and just perform, and 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 hopefully, you know, I can help those, you know, um, in Haiti as well. You mentioned the 16 season. I've seen some other members of that team have mentioned they don't want Cleveland to have to go through this because they don't want to. <laughs> do, do you have a thought on that, or I mean, does, would it take some take some stigma away from that team you were on if they do? The, I try to forget about it. Um, I mean, honestly, it suck if they do it, but um, you know, they, I mean, they got to have pride in themselves and try to go win games. It is what it is, but um, I, I definitely don't want anybody to go through that because uh, you know that stigma, unless you win the Super Bowl, kind of sticks with you for the rest of your your career. You know, and and uh, that's tough. So hopefully those guys can pull one off. I, I mean, I don't know what the rest of their schedules looks like, but it suck if they do go in 16. I, I know the feeling. You and Michael were saying you were egging him on for the uh, sack celebration last year. <laughs> do, you, do you own up to that? Or I was, I was, I was. Um, but I mean, hey, he 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 has to know it's two pups, not three. So that's that's on him. Um, but no, man, I was just in the game. I was just happy we ran a, a game that worked. You know, a, a line stunt that worked. He came around, hit the quarterback. I was hype. He was hype. He went for it. And hey, that's 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 on him. <laughs> you and Mike signed here at the same time. Now you're Super Bowl champs, both Pro Bowlers. Now, I mean, could, could that have gone much better? I I was just thinking about this last night. Um, 
you know, uh, somebody sent me a picture of us training in Hawaii. So we've been training together in Hawaii the last couple of years or whatnot. And it's pretty cool to see, you know, how we both train together, how we both got here at the same time, both, you know, contract situations and different things have occurred during, you know, while we've been here and look at where we're at right now, you know, as far as for some of the things we've, we've been able to accomplish, it's pretty cool. It's, you know, it's, it's like a, a brother relationship that we have. So for both of us to be doing, you know, some good things, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, um, and uh, I think it, I think we both motivate each other as well. Because nobody, again, the, we're competitors too. So it's like, okay, you know, Mike has nine sacks. I want to get nine and a half. I want to get ten. You know, so that drives us as well. So it, it's pretty cool stuff. Mike, what were your first you. impressions of him, and, and when do you feel like you bonded? Or <laughs> I wanted like... to fight Mike when I first fight Mike when I first got here. Uh, we got into it in the Atlanta game actually uh, when we first got here. Um, because I didn't understand who the type of person he was, you know, um, you know, he's joke. He's always joking around, you know, he's he's, uh, you know, just a prankster or whatnot. Nah, I'm not really into that. I don't really know you that well. So why are we, you know, we don't have that kind of relationship or whatnot. But as you know, I realize, you know, the type of person he is, we're both going through the same thing as far as for, you know, kind of putting our pride aside the first year of not playing much and and different things like that. We kind of just grew to, to understand each other. And um, now we're like the best of friends. He said that he wishes he had your speed. <laughs> what of his skill set are you try wish do you wish you had in yours? He's a technician, man. He he he's a beast with his hands. Um, you know, he might not have the speed, but he's quick and he's good with using his hands as far as for getting off blocks and as far as for beating O line, you know, off the line or whatever with uh with with how he uses his hands. So uh that's definitely one thing if I could add to my game, I think uh I could take it a, a, a little further, um, but yeah, he's definitely a technician with his hands. What do you do in What do you do in that Atlanta game that you mentioned that kind of rubbed you the wrong way? Initially? I think he he just said something about pass rushing or something. And I'm like, bro, I know how to pass rush. Like, like, but you know, it's getting you know we're both in our feelings in the sense of just not playing as much as we like or whatnot. So uh, we just went back and forth for a little bit. I got mad. I could have probably swung on him, but thank God I didn't. Um, uh, but I think that made us stronger because right after we right after we got the argument, we win the game. We get on the bus. He's like, now nah, I gotta go tell my wife she can't be friends with your wife. You know, what I mean? I'm like, no, we're cool. Like, you know, he, he he made a little joke or whatever, and it it was all good from that point on. We've been cool ever since. Can you take us inside the locker room? And is there any aftertaste at all from Richards blow up on the sidelines? And what happened? What happened with Sherm? He talking talking a lot again? I don't I don't know. I really have no clue what you're talking about. Daryl Bevel on the first and goal call at the one yard line. Oh, uh, I, I have no clue. I, 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 that's first of my knowledge of knowing what's going on. Uh, I don't keep up with everything we're doing. <laughs> it's a lot of guys to keep up with, but no, I don't. I don't. I have no clue. Sorry. There you go. Cool. Thank you. Thank you.